What's going on, fellas? Doing a little lab book work tonight. Got an interesting little experiment going on here. Some data that I need on some of these nozzles that I've been selling. And essentially what I need to do is populate this graph. And we're going to be running some pretty cool experiments to show how much vacuum these nozzles can draw. How many inches of vacuum draw can we get now a lot of the ones that i've seen on the market so far can only do 24 inches of vacuum or 24 inches of draw that means they can lift a column of fluid 24 inches so we're going to take a look at that today and um, essentially what we've got here is on the y-axis is the nozzle size and we will plot a dot at the corresponding inches in height of fluid draw not quite sure how I'm going to populate the x, the x axis yet, but um, first thing we're going to do is run the nozzle flush. And let's say we get 25 inches at 1 psi. We will then um, maybe start that in the middle and then see if it goes this way or that way depending on negative or positive reveal. And we're doing this in half millimeter increments. Okay. This is our little setup we're looking at here. This is the nozzle that we're going to be testing. We're starting off with the oil cap stand flush with the injector face. I'm going to put a mark right here on the side indicating that's our flush position at this particular valve setting. I actually overdid it. That's almost an entire millimeter. I need to back off of that hair. Probably could have just checked it where it was. It is. Okay, so that's about 0.5 millimeter. And as you can see, that gave us an inch of draw. Get an actual measurement here. The actual water tank height. Okay, we are now at 17 and a half inches. currently at 15 and a half inches so there really is no sense in going any further but just for the sake of illustration I'll go ahead and go to 1.5 millimeter let's see what happens not there Long turn there. It's very hard to find the nozzle in here. What's going on? Turning and turning, nothing's happening. Hey, wait a second. Okay, that's about 1.5. I don't know if 
that's air pressure fluctuation or what it is. There is some bubbles in the line maybe. All right, fellas, so I did the test several times and it appears there are some variations in my pressure regulator that are leading to some inaccuracies. But nonetheless, we can tell you one thing. That is that um, there is a dip in the curve. Like as I'm adjusting the nozzle, you'll go from one point at flush to a dip and then it will increase in pressure. It's the strangest thing. I don't know if it has something to do with the position of the vena contracta in relation to the air, not the vena contracta of the fluid, but the air orifice itself is what I'm seeing here almost in every test except for the first test 1.5 millimeter is the optimum position so if this nozzle pin is sticking out so you can see the nozzle is here see the fluid level dropping but see how it goes back up? You see that? Look at that. Okay, we lost air pressure there. But you see there was a point where as you're progressing, it's not linear. For some reason, the amount of draw you can get out of this thing is not linear. I mean, it'll pump no matter what if I turn this thing all the way up. All right, so despite the fact that uh, it draws a higher vacuum at a 1.5 millimeter extruded position, it still doesn't have as powerful as a spray pattern as flush does. Flush appears to pump more. I have not done any testing to confirm that, but 
just a visual corroboration will do for me. I mean, you can clearly see it was pumping more when it's flush. Did you see that valley where it reaches a certain point where it just drops off to nowhere? Some type of invisible shock wave or something is moving through the discharge zone or something. So we see this big dip in the graph, even though we're not looking at pressures, we're looking at flows. Like as you start off flush, you're pumping a certain amount. And then the flow seems to diminish a little bit, at which point it picks back up drastically when you get to the 1.5 millimeter position. I should have drawn these in um, better ratio. These are not ratio specific in the drawing as good as they should be. I did a horrible job of that, but uh, for the most part, in conclusion, you get the highest vacuum with the 1.5 millimeter extruded position, but you don't get the highest flow flush is the highest flow I just wanted to look into that and as you can see we're getting every bit of uh, four feet of draw there I mean I'm holding this thing way up in the air and everything so the vacuum power is fairly powerful you would still want to use an elevated fuel system when doing this but uh, for the most part not too bad